uh, my brother actually sent me an article out of the Wall Street Journal that talked about a program that the uh, St. Louis chapter of the Alzheimer's Association ran. And it, it struck a bell with me because my father had dementia in his later years and uh, he had served in the Navy and there were times where he wouldn't even know who I was but he had pictures of the ships he served on and that sort of thing and I could always count on that that book to get the conversation going and so when I read the article about baseball it kind of combined two different loves. I've been a baseball geek all my life and uh, since I retired the opportunity to serve others and then kind of serve others in memory of my dad and what he went through uh, kind of led us to start the program here in Austin. So um, I am the president of Alzheimer's Texas and we have served Central Texas for over 30 years um, with support services for people with the disease, family members and caregivers. Um, also working to advance research and a lot of advocacy work as well. So we um, just rolled out our new name in January, so it's, it's Alzheimer's Texas. Could you tell us how this collaboration collaboration came to be? Yes, well I'm a very, very, very lucky person. I had an amazing volunteer. Um, Jim, who called me up and said, we need to meet about this, let's do this. And so that's pretty much what happened. He said, I've heard about this awesome program in St. Louis. I'm, I'm wanting to do that here. Would you be willing to help? And I said, yes. So we took what St. Louis did and modified it a little bit, made it our own, and um, started rolling out the program within, I would say, probably three or four months because I just love baseball and all the memories. I mean, I just love to experience it. It's just, it's just a great experience. It just brings me back to the old days of playing ball. Okay. And who is your favorite player? Ted of? Williams. Oh, okay. You don't have to. I already know the answer to this question is your favorite team. Is the Red Sox, Red Sox, far and away. Right. And uh, do you recall how young you were when you first uh, became uh, a fan? Yeah, I was 11, uh, 10 uh, or 11. My father was a big Red Sox fan, so, and I was, I was into baseball big time, and it didn't take very much to get me into the Red Sox. Uh, the, there's a, a fellowship that we have here as friends and people that have the same kind of issues that I have that we can, we can live with each other and understand how, what we gotta do for the rest of our life sometimes. Uh, we've, uh, some of us have the same medications and all those kind of things, but it, it helps us make the next day, I guess I would say. Who is your favorite baseball player of all time? Of all times, Mickey Mantle. Mickey Mantle. It would have to be Mickey Mantle. And why, why, why do you say that? Because probably at age seven or eight, starting to watch baseball and all that, and I, uh, I've watched it from very young to very now, and uh, it's very part of my life. And it's 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 uh, have my grandkids in, involved with it, and uh, it's so it's uh, it's it's just it's it's great for the family and for the future for us. You know. How would you describe your husband's feelings about being part of this program? Uh, very positive. Very. He seems to enjoy it a lot. And uh, would you say that it's something that he looks forward to in terms of... He, he's not able to look forward. I can tell him, and, right. but he, his first response is, I don't remember anything about it. Okay. And he gets a little anxious because he feels like he doesn't know, but when he right. gets here, it totally falls in place. Right, falls yeah. in place. Uh, would you like to share some observations about what you've seen uh, when you've been here regarding how the program is offered? to the participants? Um, I, th I think it's offered in a way that people that are dealing with dementia can plug in to a typical type of conversation. And in most situations, t uh, Tom's not able to do that. And any additional comments you would like to make? Well, I, I don't have a history with baseball, but I've enjoyed hearing about it. Uh, but one of the things that I have found most uh, 
nicest about it is it's something we can share together. And we've lost a lot of the kinds of things we can share together, and this particularly gives a nice thing for us as a couple. And I appreciate that. Um, my, his feelings, he's excited about coming, and I think there are friendships that he has developed and a camaraderie, a sense of camaraderie that he's not in this disease alone. Can you share some observations about uh, how this program has affected you personally? Um, I, I guess I also have the feeling that um, just having the knowledge that there's other people that are having the, some of the same struggles that we have uh, with memory, um, but I would have to say I've gotten a lot out of it as well because I'm, I'm not really an avid baseball fan, but I've learned a lot and they bring up a lot of things that happen off the field as well that... Um, um, so what have you learned about baseball since you... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably um, some trivia that no one else cares about. <laughs> <laughs> and that these uh, Sabermetrics men volunteers are, are really great people to come and, and give their time to do this. Um, I don't really think it's that much of an effort um, be, because I enjoy this probably as much as anybody else who's doing it, whether you're a volunteer, whether you're a participant, whether you're a caregiver. Um, I just love talking baseball. Um, so it's almost selfish in a way that, that I get a lot out of this and there are people here who remind me of uh, older relatives I mean, there's uh, Tom and Liz, Tom reminds me a lot of my dad as a Red Sox fan um, when Jim first told us about this at a Sabre meeting you know, a couple of years ago it just like completely clicked with me like oh I want to have something to do with that um, so some of it is I mean I guess in some sense I know that we're helping uh, people feel feel better and uh, reminisce about things, um, but yeah, I mean, I have to admit, some of it is just because I enjoy the heck out of it too. I know that you've been uh, involved uh, from the beginning. Is that correct? Yes, that's right. right. Yeah. Okay. Can you share some observations about how you've seen or uh, been able to uh, 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 observe if there's been any differences in the participants as as a result of this program over time? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, and I don't know any of them outside the program, right, right, so I can only right, yeah. gauge. But I would say a lot of them are a lot, none of them were ever shy, okay. but I think a lot of them are a lot more conversational. Um, they're a lot more um, excited than maybe the first couple of weeks or things like that. And I think from talking to the caregivers, my impression is that like on the car ride home or over the right. next couple of days or a couple of days in advance, they always get excited about it, and again, as do I, but they know it's coming up on a Monday. Um, so they'll either start thinking about baseball, and again, as you've seen, some of the stuff we're doing isn't baseball. So it'll, oh, we talked about Lone Ranger, or we talked about the, the uh, Nixon-Kennedy debates, or something like that, and they said a lot of them, and it's happened, I've noticed that as I've sat next to them, they'll start talking to me about, oh, I remember that debate, or, um, and as Liz said to me, sometimes what Tom is remembering may not be 100% accurate. She said, but it, at this point, she doesn't care that that's the case. It's, it's, it's that he's participating and that he's involved and in in that he's uh, excited about things. So I've noticed that a lot more from now than from day one. It just feels like it's a really um, communal family type thing. Uh, and probably like a lot of communal and family type things. It takes a while to build to get to that, but I think we're at that now.